YouTube, welcome back to the Allegheny Northern in N scale. And today we are talking about auto reversers yet again. And I know you're like, well, wait a minute, you just did a video on auto reversing when you wired up your Y and your turntable. Why are we talking about auto reversing again? Well, very simply, because gentlemen, this is your AR, and this is the AR she told you not to worry about. What's the difference? It's a lot more than just size. Okay, what you are looking at is the PSXX-AR, and this is the SC series, and that SC stands for snap coil. And the reason that is very, very important is because what we are doing here is wiring up our auto reverse section to also throw the switch. And that means your train on a mainline run can go into the reverse loop. And then as it's exiting, this little device here will automatically power up your turnout and throw the switch for you. Now, why is that important? Other than it sounds really cool, why is it important? I have on my first level mainline run four auto reversing sections that are part of the main line. So that means both main line tracks, number one and number two, double back on themselves at either end of the layout and basically a giant folded dog bone type of deal. Okay, and the reason that they do that is because I couldn't go all the way around the walls with my layout due to the inability to get past uh, certain appliances in the house and uh, certain, you know, HVAC equipment that most basements have. And I did not want to have any movable sections. No swing bridges, no gates, no lift outs. They're a pain in the ass. And I would advise you to not put them in your build if you can avoid it. I was able to avoid it, but now I created a new situation. And I didn't know, I knew that there was a way to do it, but I didn't know what it was. So of course I went out to the internet and you folks responded beautifully saying, you need to check out DCC Specialties uh, PSAR. And here we are. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you how easy it is to wire. And for those of you who know the Cato track system, blue and white, in my case, it's sometimes blue and green depending on, on what it is, but the blue is always the blue, and then the wiring underneath is either white or green depending on, on the alternate rail. That'll confuse some of you. Doesn't confuse me because we're talking feeder wires here. So the feeder wire is very, very short underneath the layout. And so it's very easy for me to see a green wire and go, oh, that is the white wire. That's just the way it is. Um, and then you're coming in off the bus, okay? You're going out to the reverse section, just like the AR would. So on your AR, you've got the standard in and out and then nothing here in the middle pin. So this is this is actually out here to the uh, to the reverse section. This is in from the bus. And then you have your snap control for your turnouts. There is a separate version. And if you didn't know this, like I didn't know this, you're gonna end up buying the wrong boards and have to replace them with the correct boards. Tortoise uh, motor underneath. The, the tortoise motor uh, is a different type. It's not a it's not a snap relay, so uh, you need to get the uh, AR, PSX, X, AR version. You need the SC version if you're running either the Atlas or the uh, Cato uh, snap coils. Uh, there may be other brands out there, so just check to see whether you have like one of those slow motion continuous things or whether you got a snap switch. It'll make the, make the determination. Let me show you the beauty of what it does. Okay, so here is our locomotive. It is entering the reversing section. Unlike the AR1, the reversing section, the reversing board here is not mechanical. Um, it's all solid state. So you don't actually get a click in the board uh, when, it, uh, when it throws. Uh, you, it just happens. And for those of you who are used to the AR1s, and you're used to that that clicking noise, it's a little unsettling because you're like, well, did it work? And then the train exits and you're like, oh, yeah, I guess it worked because it didn't, didn't stall. Uh, and so as our train makes around the loop here, 
Um, I'm actually working on this section of track right now, getting everything sort of fine-tuned and, and wired up properly. But uh, as we make our uh, loop about here, and we start coming out, as soon as we hit the uh, reversing section, you will see it. And there it is, it snapped, and the train exits right out. Now, uh, let me show you something here that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to shut off the track power for just a second. And when you shut the track power off, obviously the uh, AR will turn off. Uh, and now I'm going to restore track power. And you'll notice that the switch automatically jumped back to the main line or the uh, non-diverging route. So it's going to do that for you. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a problem for you in the way that I'm running my layout. Um, it actually might be. Uh, however, however, um, you can control the turnout manually as well. And you can put that in there so that you can uh, basically with a toggle throw the switch back. So if you needed to go in the other direction, it's very simple to just throw it back. Okay. So um, there is instructions to come with it as far as to how you wire all that up. And this goes into the standard, oh my God, there is so much stuff to learn here. It tells you exactly what to do. It tells you what outputs go to where, which ones to use, which ones not to use. Uh, and it even gives you instructions on the front on how to test it. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't wanna say you can't screw it up because as soon as I say that, somebody will find a way to screw it up and go, oh, you said I can't screw it up. Well, I guess you, you always can. Um, but you do get some indicator lights here. I'm just going to take you back for a second and show you the board. So you can tell whether the system is tripping out or not. So if you're green on both sides, essentially this thing is running the way it's supposed to run and you're ready to rock and roll. But uh, uh, there's a little blue light that will appear uh, if, if, if we short out. In fact, testing it is one of the things that, uh, that you want to do before you plug this up under the layout. So understand there is absolutely nothing wrong with your little AR. I'm going to have this plugged in in enough places for Y's and other things where I will be uh, working the, the train. But this board is going to allow me to set my trains to run and not have to worry about flipping switches when they enter into an AR. They will not automatically short out because this thing is going to catch them in time and flip it around. So um, that, that's, that's awesome. Like that's, that's a really cool feature. And if you have a similar setup on your layout, then um, that's, that's the way to do it. These boards are a bit pricey where you're gonna pay somewhere I think in the 30, 30 to 50 dollar range for the little AR, uh, you are going to pay closer to 75, 80 for each of these boards. And uh, so if, if you can limit the number that you need, obviously the better. But the, uh, the board offers a lot more. Not only does it offer the built-in circuit breaker function, it offers that ability to throw the turnout as well. So that's just something to consider if you have this kind of condition on your layout. It does give you all of the options for how to wire it and some of the added components that you may want to add, including an audible alarm, just so you know if you are shorting out somewhere. So um, that is a nice feature that you can add to it. It also shows you how to wire your common reversing sections, your Y and your reversing loop. So it makes it pretty easy to follow those. They're basic electrical instructions. And if you've gotten this far in DCC or in model railroading in general, and you have a complicated track configuration like this, chances are you've seen uh, one of these wiring diagrams or two. So that's it. Wanted to show you how it works. Make sure you get the right version based on your switch machines. And happy modeling.